Anything Ravenclaw and Hogwarts Legacy you want to overspend in order to represent your house, well, this is the set for you. This is the Lego Harry Potter Ravenclaw house banner and is one of four that allows you to represent your house pride in a pretty disappointing way. This is set 76411 and will be available from March 1st for 30 US dollars, 50 Australian and 30 Great British pounds. The banner sets are all really similar and in my previous reviews I really was not the biggest fan, but you know, maybe fourth time's the charm. Get it? The sets overall to me feel just really really gimmicky and essentially were a copy and paste of one another and not in a good way. However, at least in the case of Ravenclaw there are some pretty cool prints and pieces but certainly not for the price point that they're charging. Kicking off the minifigures we have Luna Lovegood who at this point has become the default Ravenclaw student. Her head is the same as the Hogwarts Express and just like that set her hair has that same weird rubbery coating on it which personally I think feels really cheap. It makes it look a little bit weird. I don't know what they did in order to change that but if you bought that Hogwarts Express, you will know exactly what I'm talking about here. She comes dressed in the Ravenclaw robes and is a basic but very great inclusion. Next up is the highlight for me and that is Cho Chang. We've had so many versions of her at this point that I thought I would be tired. However, Lego finally listened to the feedback and fixed her skin color. Unlike the previous versions, they gave her one of the brand new Lego shades that I feel like they've only really done in the Hogwarts trunk as well as the foosball table and it is significantly lighter but still very different to the light nougat color. Her her head print also varies very slightly and her hair is now a more solid plastic instead of that rubber piece that they've been using for several years. Her torso has the brand new fantastic Quidditch sweater print though I think the blue that they chose is far too bright and personally I would have preferred it to be the dark blue that matches the banner plates of this set. But that aside I am so glad that Lego made her look a lot more accurate and finally gave Lego fans a tone that is a much more accurate representation of them. Lastly is Michael Corner and if you're asking yourself who that is don't worry I am too. It's been a very long time since I've read the books and I can't even recall him from the Lego games or even the Harry Potter Order of the Phoenix game I played. I love that these sets have included more obscure characters but I think they strayed a little bit too far away here. A quick Google search did tell me though that he is this specific guy from Dumbledore's army. So now knowing that at least I know that he looks pretty accurate although if I'm being super picky I feel like he needed to have a more gloomy looking face. Personally I think Penelope Clearwater could have been a much better choice since she does get name dropped in the Deathly Hallows but no matter what what, I feel like Ravenclaw has a very overlooked character selection so it would be really hard to pick someone that most people would know outside of Luna and Cho. Like the other banner sets I think this certainly looks the best when it is all closed up. It works for a really nice wall display piece that you can actually hang up using this brand new plate however when you sort of turn it around to the sides it doesn't absolutely look the best but I really like how all of the tones blend in with the banner really well and I think the color scheme works quite nicely even though it does look a little bit messy from the sides and the back of the set. The printed press tile, while amazing, honestly feels a little bit plain compared to a couple of the other ones and the blue tones do match the banner really nicely, especially with the grey, but it just feels a little bit basic and like it could have had something a bit more going on. This set has many of the same flaws as the other banners, that being that it is too 2D, it feels very flat and just very bland overall. However, I do think it is a lot better than some of the other ones in many aspects too. The interior I actually feel looks pretty great overall, the whole thing feels complete. It's not great by any means but the whole thing actually feels complete this time around and is very very authentically Ravenclaw. The lenticular card in this set is really plain and does not add really anything to the set. The most exciting part that moves is actually covered up by the rest of the set so it just feels like a glorified sticker in my opinion. However I'm glad that they kept things consistent and gave this one another type of 3D card even if it doesn't really do anything. My favourite aspect of course is the easter egg to the Hogwarts moment sets. I just think it's really fun for Lego Harry Potter fans and this set actually as well comes with a proper stickered book representing the defence class which I thought was absolutely amazing. However they didn't really give anything special on the inside. It's literally just a plain 1x2 tan tile. Build wise the fireplace really is the only highlight to me as those curved pieces just add some very much needed texture because otherwise I think the rest of the set is pretty plain as nice as it looks. There aren't many side builds either in this set. Basically you get two different types which is a lamp as well as a chair and each of them you get two of. Again they're very basic. It's a design that isn't really unique to this set either but I guess it just allows you to flesh out the scene a little bit more and give the characters somewhere to actually stand and or sit. Both blend into the scene really well and can be utilized easily but I'm just left wanting more. 
more. And I feel the same way when it comes to the Rowena Ravenclaw statue. She looks really gorgeous and is a nice statement, I guess, to the back wall of this set, but they didn't make her move very much, so it just looks a little bit basic. Overall, there's no doubt in my mind that this banner definitely looks the best out of the four, but that being said, it is still not a spectacular set. I guess the best way to put it is that it achieved the highest of what was a very, very low bar. These sets are held back by their overall concept, and as much as I don't really like the modular Hogwarts custom system, and I'm kind of a little bit sick of it at this point, I think that would have been a much better route to go down. I appreciate the creativity in trying to do something new, but the fact that these type of sets are basically a copy and paste of one another, it leaves me feeling a little bit bored, because they just feel stale, even though it is something that they've never done before until this year. The minifigures and accessories are really the highlight of this set, but they are definitely not worth it for 30 bucks. I would not recommend paying retail price for this set, or even getting double VIP points or a promotion. This is something that you definitely want to buy when it is on clearance, or when it was on sale, or maybe even just get one of your favorite house from the movies and books. There are so many better sets on offer from LEGO, and especially with Harry Potter, you are much better paying just a little bit extra and getting either the Black Lake set or even the Room of Requirement, because I feel like you are going to get much better value from your money and end up being a lot happier. But let me know your thoughts on this set and this wave of products in the comments down below, and if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing to my channel, and be sure to check out all of my other LEGO Harry Potter reviews too.